Hey there, YouTubers and collectors. Salvador Los Angeles here with my Twilight Zone extravaganza review. We're going to cover a lot of ground here. We're going to review various figures, uh, namely these two in package, Series 6, Alien from Episode 95, Hocus Pocus and Frisbee, and also Cyclops, Series 7, Episode 155, The Fear. Gremlin, Jason Foster, Kanamit, The Devil, Taki Tina, Willie, Dr. Bernardi, Henry Bemis, The Invader, Three-Eyed Venusian, Bob Wilson slash Don Carter, Alien, Nurse, Cyclops, Alicia, and again we have Kanamit, but this time in a variant with a black robe. These are made by Biff Bang Pal. And as a special bonus, we're going to have a look at this. There's no exact name for this thing, but if you remember the beginning of the show, this door is featured along with the clock, the looks like a window frame, and one of those uh, dolls that they use in art classes. And there is Rod Serling there. Icons of the Twilight Zone bobblehead. I guess that's what this is called. Icons of the Twilight Zone bobblehead. We're going to have a look at this. We're going to break this out of the box. We're going to have a look at these figures, see how they look out of their boxes. And we're going to look at a few of these other figures here because I've got a few of them. And we're going to have our own Twilight Zone marathon. This review is dedicated to my good friend, Mr. Robbie Ravenwood friend of Salvador Los Angeles, very good friend, very good person. I'll have a link to his website down below. All right, everybody, this is Salvador Los Angeles reviewing various Twilight Zone paraphernalia, and I thank you for watching. So here is the bobblehead doorway out of package. As you can see, this has a little spring on it. And this does not, there's no spring on this one. There is a spring on the E equals MC square, none on the eyeball, and there is one there on the window. This item is pretty heavy, this is a heavy, dense it appears to be easily breakable if you drop this it is gone oh the back says the twilight zone that's pretty neat trademark and 2012 cbs all rights reserve big bang pow china this appears to actually be marble well not marble but you know some sort of stone so this is pretty well made but do not drop this time says 12 10 i don't know that it has any significance or historical relevance the doorway does not open it'll be nice if it did it does not It'd be cool if you could take it and open it up. That would be very nice. And it would be nice if the uh, eyeball were on a, on a spring. Actually, this eyeball is almost similar to, to this here. Pretty similar, but not the same. A very nice piece. Would look beautiful on your desk. I recommend you purchase one of these for your desk if you are a Twilight Zone fan. It looks really great and is a wonderful conversation piece. Great gift for the holidays, for your friends, for your family. How about Mother's Day? I could give something like this to my mother and she would uh, leave it in the garage to collect us forever until she dies and then I would inherit it again. So that would be actually a very good gift. Give a gift that you will receive back. All right, so there is the bobblehead made of stone with the Twilight Zone emblem on the back. Looking very cool. All right, we're going to open up these figures now and see what they're about. Here are our two primary figures out of their packaging. Not to scale, mind you. This figure, and I know this because I just saw this episode last night, this figure is huge in the Twilight Zone episode. Huge, giant alien, okay? This one, I don't recall. I don't remember this particular episode. I haven't seen this one recently. But let's have a look at this. This is the alien. This is called Alien. And there is his face. Pretty decent articulation on these things. These are fashioned after Mago. If you guys remember the old Mago style figures, that is what these are fashioned after with excellent articulation. Lots of mobility there. Might as well go over that. He has lots of rotation in the shoulder and he has a bend at the elbow and then he has a rotation at the wrist and also bends back and forth at the wrist. At the waist he twists and he does have lots of movement at the hip. He bends at the knee and then he has a swivel, sorry, a swivel, a hinge at the ankle. And look, these shoes do come off. There's no relevance to this in the TV show, uh, to my knowledge, because he does have human feet. And he has a human body, even though he's some, some sort of alien. Here's what he looks like from the back. Again, I'm sorry, I don't remember this particular episode. I'm sure if I see it again, I will. He has a little Velcro here. You can open him up like so. And there is Alien in black and white, just like the episodes. These Cyclops, again, the Cyclops on the exact episode was huge. And I don't know how exactly accurate this is because I remember in the episode I just compared this figure last night to the episode the boots were a little bit shorter 
and I don't remember him having black here. I think these are sort of gray, but maybe it was a black and white thing. And obviously we never see him from the back, but you can guess this is what he looks like. And these boots are removable as well. I believe that all these figures have the same body, if I'm not mistaken. It's the same body uh, from the neck down, just with different heads on it. And I believe it's the same exact articulation, so he would have head movement. Yes, there we are. Giant Cyclops. <laughs> this is actually funny to look at. So Giant Cyclops there with the same articulation as the alien. All right, everybody, we are going to whip out some other figures and have a look at all I've got as far as my Twilight Zone collection. So again, Twilight Zone Marathon, as I promised. So do not attempt to adjust the color on your screen. This entire review is in black and white. These are all my Twilight Zone figures as of this date. I do plan to complete the set and receive the Talkie Tina and the Little Silver Martian. So really all of the figures are here except for this little invader, this little Martian invader, and the Talkie Tina right here. Otherwise, they're all here. And of course, we don't have the black Kenamet, which was part of another set. This is the black, uh, this is the Kenamet figure. If you remember the episode, to serve man. It's a cookbook. It's a cookbook. Venusian has a, th I, I say Venusian. Is it Venusian or Venetian? I think it's Venusian. He has a third eye. See that? He's actually an alien, but you think he's a fry cook. Oh, everything's fine and wonderful. And then bam, I have three eyes. So that is the Venusian. I don't remember the name of the episode. But he has his apron and bow tie and black shoes. Next up, we have the Gremlin. If you remember him on the wing of the plane. He was on the wing of the plane and William Shatner says, there's a man on the wing and it was him. Here he is with his funny belly. Very much looks like a man in a suit, but then again, it did on the show as well. And he has fluffy feet. This was one of the first ones I got, I believe. Well, let me fast forward here. This was, might have been the second one that, 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 I, that I got. He's, he's fluffy and snuggly. The first Twilight Zone figure I got was actually this guy. And this, I believe the name of the episode was The Howling Man, and this is The Devil. This is a epi famous episode with John Carradine. Look, he has a real chain there. This is my favorite Twilight Zone episode, and they just so happen to make a figure of him. So that is really cool. He has horns. He is evil. He's the devil. Next up, we have Alicia. If you guys remember the episode about uh, how they put criminals up in on Mars. I think they put the criminals up on Mars to be alone, but then they give him a surrogate mate and she was a robot and her face gets ripped off. I think the guy shoots her. One of the cops uh, who comes to take the guy off the planet shoots her and then reveals that she's actually some sort of android named Alicia. Corey! 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 Henry Bemis. Now I like this figure for two reasons. One, because this is a very famous episode about the guy who's, if you remember, he loves to read books. Here's his stack of books. But then he loses his glasses and he cannot read and there's the episode ends. So he is screwed. But one of the reasons why I love this figure is because he is a Burgess Meredith. And I believe this is the only Burgess Meredith figure that, that we have. They might have made a Jack Pacific Mickey figure from Rocky, if I'm not mistaken. But NECA does not seem to be making a Mickey from Rocky figure. So this is the only Burgess Meredith. Oh, I'm sorry, wait, I take that back. They also recently released a Penguin figure. So there is a Penguin figure, if you guys know. This is the guy, Burgess Meredith, who played the Penguin in the 1960s Batman show. That is Burgess Meredith. So we have now two figures of Burgess Meredith and his stack of books. We have here Willie. Willie is a dummy that comes alive. I forgot the name of the episode, but he is a, a ventriloquist dummy who comes alive, ready to wreak havoc. So that is Willie, and he is shorter than the other ones. As you can see, this is how tall he stands. He's wearing a cute little sailor's outfit. But don't let him fool you, he is evil. Let's put him in front of the door there. Behind Willie are the nurse and Dr. Bernardi. I think the episode was in the Eye of the Beholder. If you guys remember, there's a beautiful woman under wraps and then they re re take off her bandages and find that she is beautiful, but to these doctors and medical professionals, she is hideous. Because in this world, what is beautiful is hideous, and what is hideous is beautiful. So this is Nurse and Dr. Bernardi. Very cool set. I don't know if they were released in the same series, but as a set, look at that, very cool. Next we have the Canamit figure. Again, this is the To Serve Man episode. It's a cookbook! 
and he this is the guy the actor who portrayed this uh, Kanemet is was also the guy that played uh, Jaws in Moonraker if you guys remember 007 Moonraker James Bond the villain Jaws was played by this actor who is now deceased and may he rest in peace he comes with his book the to serve man book it's a cookbook as we all learned and there he is the Kanemet he's called and again, they have a, a black-robed version that came out with a special edition. I think it's like a, maybe a DVD set or a book. So there's another version of this Kanemet where he's wearing a black robe. Other than that, I think everything else is the same. Last but not least, we have Jason Foster here. Now, just to be perfectly clear, he did not come with a wheelchair. This wheelchair was stolen from Professor X from the X-Men. As you can see, it's kind of futuristic. So this is not Jason Foster's wheelchair, but I put him in one because this figure does not come with a wheelchair and he is sold as a standing figure. But throughout the episode, he is in a wheelchair. This is from the episode called The Masks, I believe, where this old rich man has all of his family members don these uh, disgusting masks until midnight, at which time he di dies. And then their faces are then disfigured and formed into the shapes of the mask. Uh, his was a skull and this is a mask he has a little tie in the back there so again he is in a wheelchair the whole entire episode so that's why i stuck him on one here jason foster from the episode the masks i think it's called oh i also wanted to mention this gun and this newspaper here belong to the william shatner figure on the episode when he faces the gremlin so again you can change the william shatner's you can change William Shatner's clothing around, and then he will be the guy on the plane in the Gremlin episode. This has been Salvador Los Angeles, and I have just reviewed my Twilight Zone figures made by Biff Bang Pow for your viewing pleasure. And of course, this episode is dedicated to my good friend, Mr. Robbie Ravenwood. And I thank you for watching. It's a cookbook!